what you up to Can I have a minute of your time You want me to turn my heel and forget you All I know it can't be done I'm only asking once would you let me Take a minute of your time You might just be surprised with where it gets you Hey guys, this is Julia. I wanted to show you a project that I completed kind of by accident. I ordered these Himalayan salt candle holders that you're looking at. Um, I thought they would be big enough to hold a tea light. I was incorrect. So I figured I would buy some soy wax and pour my own candles in there. Right now I'm just gonna grab some of the wax and I'll link things below that I can. A few of them are from Amazon. As you'll notice, I don't measure anything. I am Italian, so it's in my nature. And this was honestly the first time I've done this, so I was just kind of giving it a try. These wax melts are also from the Tyler Candle Company. If you watched my last video, you'll know that I love their detergent. It's the same exact scent. So I'm just going to pop one of these out and stick it right in the middle of the wax. You on your favorite ride. You don't care if you hurt me. Lead me over fun. Never was I'm telling you. Don't keep this over that clip because I found it to be quite relaxing. I hope you did too. But I wanted to let you know that that spatula, I would highly recommend. It's heat resistant. And although I was only doing that over about medium heat, it really has um, stood up to some pretty hot temperatures when I'm cooking with other things. Want me to my heel and forget you. All I know it can be done. I'm only asking once, would you let me take a minute of your time? You might just be surprised with where it gets you. All I know, I'm in it for the ride. You? Now it's time to put the wicks in. You're gonna see some trial and error here. I tried to use that tool to um, correctly measure. Again, I don't measure, so here I am assembling the wick to the tool and it's wrong um so i i gave it a try the whole purpose of this metal piece is to hold the wick in place as the candle dries but i find that as long as you put the wicks in and kind of move them around as they're drying and push them towards the middle they'll be fine I also tried a few different ways to get the metal piece of the wick to stick to the bottom of the holder. Oh, there are my sage bundles. Um, this is also a case that I use to hold some of those odds and ends around the house. This is actually where I'm keeping my super glue, so I pull that out and give it a try. I don't really think there's much that would stick to salt after trying a few of these things. So like I said, as long as you are being sure that you're moving around the wick so that it is touching the bottom and also moved towards the center, you should be good.
after I was done pouring and making a mess, I decided it was best to trim the wicks, especially that sad guy in the back. I found that the longer the wick was, the more it was kind of like drooping over the side. So just shortening them while they dry. And then of course you want to make sure that your wicks are super short before you light them. Super short, meaning they should be about one eighth of an inch at all times. Um, after about four hours of burn time, you'll notice it'll look a little longer. You're going to want to blow it out and trim it once again. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. I'm also curious to hear what other kind of scents you would put in your candles. Of course, you can use things like um, other scented wax melts and essential oils. And in a sec, I'll show you how these bad boys glow when you light them. Mm -hmm.